have it open where I left it the other day. <laughs> Love that for me. Oh, I, I, I clipped something by accident there. Um... Easy. Cool. We've got to think of some funky names today. I've forgotten how to play on a Nintendo controller all of a sudden. Welcome to hell, way. bitch! Mermaid Nick, is it Nix or Nike? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. How are you doing? Oh god, I hit a scatterbug by accident. Hi, Hopey Hope. We've got our bestie Squooge. Oh, let me inform on Discord that I'm playing and move to. Oh, oh my gosh, there's so many hop up over here. Okay. So I think I just need to go in here because I kind of ended it where I think I was supposed to be going to the school now. I'm not sure. So let's see. Oh, I think I've got um, Echo. There we go. What are you meowing for? Do you want up? Mm -hmm. Do you want to go out? Oh yeah, Kirsty. Oh wait, what was her what was her voice I had for her again? Did you battle some trainers on the hill? Bet your Pokemon are getting stronger. <laughs> how about you show me how much you all have learned in a battle? Oh god. Nothing like having a friend around. Come on, Kirsty, let's have a fruitful battle. Okay. She scares me sometimes. We're gonna play Coco. Why is Fue Coco just the cutest little thing? You seem like you're getting better this time. Coming at you with two Pokemon this time. Oh god. God help me. With my six. There is nothing going on in this little thing's head, is there? You really work your tight matchups. I can tell how badly you want to win. Pommy. Do I have a ground Pokemon? No. Hmm. Let's just let's just leave Scrooge out. Stick to my old method of just my highest level character just killing all the other Pokemon with it. Battling you is a blast! Okay. What's she doing? Is she terrestrializing? Bitch, what the fuck? How do I get terrestrializing? Is she gonna tell me all about it after this fight? That's a bit rude. Terrestrializing is always a solid strategy. It gives more of the Pokemon's terror type more powers. How rude. You're gonna kill me. But look at Pommy with the little light bulb on his head. What a cutie. Did all the Titans? I don't know what that is. Who oh boy, I love the story. I'm so glad, me. I'm so glad you love it. Oh, 
Palmy is just the cutest. I love Palmy. I really want a Palmy plush. I'm obsessed with Palmy, honestly. I bet you even with a terrestrialized Pokemon. Fuck you, Nimona. I can't believe how fast you're improving. Amazing! Look at you! Taking on terrestrialized po opponent and winning. No problem. Come to think of it, you can't terrestrialize your Pokemon yet, huh? Don't worry, I'll get you taken care of. You're so good with Pokemon battles, I forgot how new you are to this stuff sometimes. Anyway, it was fun to battle you. Here, have some revives as thanks. I don't know if I can keep up with all these voices, honestly. Now, Mesa Ghost is waiting just past this gate. At last, the city where our school is. There's a ton of hills and stairs and stuff in the city, so I'm going to take a quick breather and then catch up with you soon. Crystal buddies are so... I know. The terrestrializing is honestly adorable. Oh, here we are. School. I open the door for the cat and she's just sitting there. She's not even gone out. All right, here I am. We finally made it, huh? Wait, what is going on in my light? There we go, that's better. This is Mesa Gosa, the biggest city in Paldea. It's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. Lots of folk come here to learn about advances in technology and all kinds of other stuff. There's a hair salon where you can change your look, plus places with tasty food and fixings. Ooh. What do you want to see first, Kirsty? Hair salon. Oh, you're a fashionista, are you? Or maybe you just want to do want a practical do that won't get in your eyes when you're battling. Oh, and speaking of battling, I want to be sure you'll be able to terrestrialize your Pokemon too, Kirsty. There's a few things that you gotta get done for that to happen, but I'll take care of them. Meanwhile, you just have fun looking around the city a bit. There's so much to do. Grab a bite, buy some accessories to spice up your uniform. If you want to be my want my personal recommendation, you've got to see Deli Bird presents. They sell handy items for Pokemon's to hold. I love Deli Bird. Deli Bird is one of my favorite Pokemons. Pokemons? Why do I keep adding S's? Once you've seen your fill, you can meet up again in front of the school. Just be ready, the stairs up to school are no joke. Yeah. Later then, get pumped for some terrestrializing. I just love Deli Bird. It's such a cute little idea of a Pokemon. Hi, Cav! Welcome in, how are you doing? Congrats on a thousand followers, Cav. Proud of you. <coughs> Cav hit 1k the other day. We love that for them. More, more, more weird ice cream. Let's not have ice cream <laughs> right now. Last time we did it, it was a weird trip. That's for sure. Poke school for Pokemon? Yes, exactly. Or Pokemon? I'm not sure what you're saying, Jackie, but yes. Welcome in, Jackie. How are you? Yes. Yes, Cav. I know. I know. It's wild. Once I catch my own Pokemon, I'm going to become a Pokemon rank cha champion rank trainer. Why can't I talk? But yeah, how are you doing, Cav? How's your day? Hello, hello. Now are in the school. Or, or the. <laughs> Jackie, have you been drinking? <laughs> are you in. I'm in the city. I don't think I'm in the school yet. I'm good. I was actually just about to boot up some Pokemon. Let's go. Are star shaped shades popular at school? I saw a group of students all wearing them. Oh. Star shaped. 
Oh my god. Pachirisu! Like, it's the school for trainers, right? Not for the- Yeah, it's the school for the trainers, not the Pokemon. Oh my god, there's a sandwich shop. For Maraidon. Am I getting Maraidon mad sandwiches? Zesty sandwich. Jam sandwich. So that's... So, what the... So there's cucumber, I think. But what the hell's the rest of it? And then we've got strawberry and cream. Is that crab sticks and avocado? Marmalade, <laughs> marmalade sandwich. But it looks like it's got cheese in it. And that's avocado and something else. I don't know what the hell that is. These sandwiches are scary. This is for Paddington for sure. Might be a little tipsy from Turkey Day Champagne. I thought so, Jackie. I hope you're having a good day, though. What is your favourite Thanksgiving f food? Cheesy oranges for the holidays. Oh, you can teach me recipes? Okay. This is so cool, but also why? I swear, Subway, Subway sponsors everything. I can't believe there's even a Subway sponsor in Pokemon. Ew, why is gulping in this game? Zesty sandwich, damn Drake being in the kitchen. No, he's not being in the kitchen because there's no um, children in there. Love stuffing. <gasps> I love stuffing too. Sage and onion stuffing. <gasps> oh, oh, it's Patatas Bravas. Right? I, oh, Patatas Bravas is so good. And then Alfayores. Coffee, lemon soda, quesadilla. I love a good quesadilla, honestly. Spicy potatoes. Literally, Patas Brabus is, is so good. You know what's really good is McDonald's in Spain do Patas Bravas wedges, like in McDonald's. Oh, oh, oh. So good. Oh, arroz con leche, seafood pinchos. Ceviche, fill it with herbs and seafood. My gosh, there is so much food in this game. I love how I just fall out of it. What is this now? Baratos. Dry, why would, why dry curry? Fruit parfait. Lemon gelato, gelato. Wait, how do you say that? Is it gelato, gelato? I don't know. But that's really, oh wait, you can't even see it. Hang on. Let me just, let me just, let me just look at Pikachu. Have, have you experienced, have I experienced what today, Stephen? They do, please, why is four McDonald's just hit more? It's so, uh, salt spray steak with fried, oh my gosh. Honestly, though, I feel that as well because McDonald's in the UK is just okay. I mean, we do have the vegan burger, but like, it's just okay. <coughs> European McDonald's is so cool. How'd they try the curry? Gulpin also needs to, but Gulpin doesn't need to be in this game. Pika Sunday, I know. Oh, the herd. We haven't had the herd today, no. But we've only just started. Paella de Padea, Paldea. Fruit punch, escalivada, potato tortilla, cloth a la gil. What the fuck is that? That's so funny. Wow, there is so much food in this game. I'm guessing it's because there's like loads of status effects from food. That's wild. The little love disc. I didn't even see the love disc. There's too much going on. Herd will forever remain Emmy's biggest contribution to society. This is true. This is true. Oh, you can just, oh, you can just buy ingredients here. Oh, that's cool. Oh. A different restaurant in every corner. I know this, this city is just full of food. I love it. We love a herd. 
You got a peek a kitchen in the door? I don't even know. What is this woman selling? Deli Hitsioso? Egg, potato salad, and chorizo. That's all she has. Okay. That's a bit odd, but okay. What's it here? Sure cans. Banana, strawberry, tomato, and pickle. <laughs> what a strange selection. Oh, I apologize. Hope is digging in her litter tray. What's down here? Oh my god, the city's massive. Egg power. Okay. Some mirrors here will fill you with egg power. I don't know if I want to be filled with egg power. That sounds really sus. Imagine walking into a grocery store and that's all they're selling. Yeah, Trito, eggs, and potato salad. Pickles in me. F Ugh. Oh, wait, is this the same place as around. Wait. Is that the same place that was around the corner? What? Okay, what's the point in that? God, this city's huge. Oh my god. Rania, hello, welcome in. Sorry, I didn't see you there. How are you? Oh my god. I sh oh no, wait, they're shopping bags. I thought she had a Birkin bag. KBN! That's so cute. Oh, look at this guy. He's got a female combi. What the hell? <gasps> Is this a combi -nee? <gasps> Oh, it's Deli Bird Presents! Ooh. Phone cases? Oh my god, should we get a case to fire? <laughs> I spring it! Oh my god! You can't even see them, but like, spring a tea, okay? Fue coco. Hang on, let me try. Oh, there we go. There's a uh, Quaxley. There you go. <gasps> but there are 3,000. I can't afford that right now. Just got home from a day shift. Oh my gosh. That's late, Rania. What time do you start in the morning? I hope you can get some good sleep. That's so cool, you can get those phone cases. It's a good thing my nose is partially blocked because all I can smell is poop from the cat. Love that. Oh, this is that same place again. Don't be shy, spend all your money on phone cases. Girl, I gotta get a haircut. And what does this man sell? Oh, it's that same thing. Egg, potato salad and chorizo. <laughs> what the fuck? Did I say girl? I'm so sorry. I, re I misread that. I'm so sorry, Arthur. I thought that was Boonie saying that. Same coffee place. <coughs> There's a bookstore and I can't go inside it. That is straight up rude. Have you finished making a racket, madam? Okay. Oh my god. Now there's a palazzo. But I think these are all the same shops. Like are these not but it's all just the same shops <gasps> wait look at the swablu on the roof oh my god was that the pokemon center back there look like the place to run your go karts through yeah the, po the pokemon center is now like a, a pit stop oh my god it's such a shame they're at like five fps because those swablu are so cute yeah this is this is the pokemon center
Oh gosh, there's an ad starting in 40 seconds. So I am gonna go on a quick break. Um, don't forget to, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Don't forget your checks and I shall BRB. Hello, I'm back. <clears throat> is this the game I've been seeing where you ride Pokemon like a motorcycle? Yes, it is. I don't actually know how you get the po- Did it tell me how to get the Pokemon out that rides the motorcycle? I don't think I can ride it yet. But yes. Got home late, but I started at one, so I got to sleep in a little. Got tomorrow off, so I get to sleep as long as I want. That's good, Rania. I'm glad. 
Um, <laughs> oh, Ronya, you've got a high curse check. Oh, dear. Oh, mate, you're not very thirsty today. James, welcome in. How are you doing? Cursed and thirst, as you should be, James. Oh, my God, look at him. Oh, my... Stop. Stop. It's just running around. It's so cute. Just finish the game. Oh, my God. Let's go, James. Like the story? I assume you haven't got a complete poked... Pokedex yet? Oh my gosh, I, I keep burping. Oh my god. I want one of these. Yeah, the story. Nice. Baby rat. I know. Oh, you're so cute. Look at them. You do the post game stuff now? That's good, there's post game stuff. That's exciting. I really liked that in Arceus, how there was like the main, like the post game stuff. Oh my god. Bestie, I need that Eevee balloon. Can you give me a balloon? No! Give me a balloon, bitch. Okay, where is the haircuts place? Look at these combi. They're so cute. Where is the haircuts place? That's why I want to know. Where did I even... Oh, I went that. Okay. I think maybe if I go this way now? Oh my god. This game is too much. I'm overwhelmed. I thought I'd be more thirsty because it... Because <laughs> of... I don't know why you guys... Who is Jacques? <laughs> Hi, Ray. Welcome in. Um, it's going good. I've not been playing too much. Um, I've been really busy lately. Um, since this is my like second stream of it. I did play a tiny bit off stream, but yeah, but I'm really enjoying it so far. Right, where am I getting a haircut? Have you got it yet? I haven't met- oh, he's in the game, me. Oh, Spike's in this? Nice, okay. I don't think I've been in here. Chancy supply? Oh, boring. Do you think I'm getting the hots for a real human being? Well, I don't know. I've never heard of someone getting the hots for a Pokemon character before me. That's a first. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not going to yuck your yum. Why is the city so big? I don't know where I am. Is this pretzels? Oh, it's a churro. Oh, of course, it's churros. <gasps> Cute. 3D character, he's not a kid. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> That's your lines. Has to be 3D, can't be a kid. Okay, fair enough. I think those are those are fair things in men. <laughs> okay, where the no, that's not what I want. Oh my god, are you telling me the haircuts were there the whole time? Why am I crouching? Oh, is it? Ooh, outfits. Shoes. Zapaldea? I love that name because I aren't like shoes in Spanish like something like Zapados or something like that? Right? I 
I love all the puns they have in this game, honestly. If I ever get feelings for person that is a damn question my brain. <laughs> Fair enough. Why are they just sneakers? I don't want sneakers. Oh, here we go. Low tops. Ew. Those aren't bad. They look like vans. Why is there five million low tops? Zap Zapatos, that's it. I knew zap something. I never did Spanish in school, so. I mean, at the end of the day, it's all good with whatever that floats your goat. Floats your goat. <laughs> True. I don't know. I hate all these socks. They look horrendous. No. You think someone's dying outside? Oh no, me. I was going to say tickle the pickle, but I think that was too on the nose. Just a bit. You hear someone screaming? Is it a fox? Fox screams are actually the most terrifying thing. I hate when you like are in bed and you just hear Oh! outside and it's a fox and you think someone's being murdered. A gat oh my god. <laughs> a gatsby cat! Stop <laughs> it looks ridiculous. Live in the town, but yeah, it sounds like a fox. I mean, we get, you don't get foxes in the countryside, you get, well you do, but like, if you're gonna hear a fox in Scotland, it'll be in a town. Oh my god. Why is that beanie like that? I don't think I've ever seen a beanie that looks like that, but okay. <coughs> but yeah, in Britain, um, foxes are a real city problem. second how you tickle a pickle that's so unlike you jackie seen a fox walk through glasgow before yeah why would i ever stick my head outside as dark as heck i don't know <laughs> buenas muchacha i hope she doesn't charge me for this do i get new hair She better not charge me unless I actually go for a cut because otherwise that's a scam. <gasps> oh my god, that is so cute. Oh my god. I think that is new, right? That's really cute. I missed this one. Oh, the curls are also adorable. I have long bob on my other one and I like the long bob quite a lot, but I'm trying to keep them different. Let's go romantic tuck. I like that one. I've kind of grown tired of the, the space buns. I think they look a bit weird on this character. These haircuts are cute. I know, right? I really do like the long bob, but this romantic tuck is really cute too. England is a fox. How does it look with a hat? Oh, you can't wear it. Okay. Fair. Oh, 
Backpack shop. Baggins. Okay, I don't want a canvas, but ugh. I want an Eevee backpack, bitch. What the hell? Canvas backpack. Get that so far out of here. Whoa! whoa. <laughs> Ooh. Picnic necks? I like that. Knickknacks, but picnic necks. Oh, cute. I forgot there's this picnic element of this game. Sorry, I feel like I'm literally zooming around doing everything right now because I'm really overwhelmed. This is one of the moments where I'm like, I think I have ADHD because I'm literally just. <laughs> Okay, let's go up to the school. Who the fuck is this? Is this the guy from Fire Emblem? <laughs> That's definitely the dude from Fire Emblem. Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Look at his backpack. Or their backpack. Or her backpack. I don't know. Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? Not really. Look, we've got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members, so just sign up already. Um, I'd rather not. Huh? You want him in this too? If you're here to sign up, we'll get you the next. We've got it. We nearly got this one in the bag. We're Team Star, kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us. But you knew that, right? So you know exactly who you're messing with, and you're still coming at us with that attitude? You're scary, kid. If you join Team Star, you'd be looking down from the top in no time. Hey, we can't just let something like this slide. The honor of our team's on the line, so we got no real choice but to battle, yeah? That's true. You keep watching that little four eyes over there. I'll make sure this fresh face nobody ends up seeing stars. Are you going to get the new Fire Emblem in January? I'm definitely getting it. I just don't know if I'm getting it in January, but I'm definitely going to get it. To be fair, I still haven't finished three houses once, so... <laughs> I nearly finished it, but yeah. Well, my first one anyway. Already hurts to look at them with those hats. What are these moves? I don't even know. Music's popping. I don't even know what a shrewdle is. Schnoodle. What was it? I don't know. Really? Really? How come I'm the one seeing stars? Ugh. Why isn't nobody like you so good at battling anyway? That's just not right. No way she beat you! Does that mean I gotta battle this kid now since I'm higher up to Team Star's ranks? Pero bueno, what do you think you're doing? Why am I going American now? She's not American in my mind. Ah, it's that student council dweeb! She's gonna report us if we don't book it. I can't believe you, Kirsty! You don't have to go find randos to battle. You'll have all the battles you'll ever need with me. Why? <laughs> Why is she like? <laughs> You're mine. Wait, they picked a fight with you? Why? Wow, I read that the wrong way. Sorry. I get it now. You two have got Team Star fighting all over you for sure. I bet you're trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Uh, hi, we were not doing that. Well, that explains it. 
As head of the student council, stopping the cyber nonsense would normally be my job. But this is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing and ultra rare gift to you. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, Terra Orb. I miss three houses. Three houses got boring after the first playthrough. <coughs> I think it probably depends on who you chose as your first playthrough. With this Terra Orb, you can terrestrialize your Pokemon during battle. Let's see. After it terrestrializes, I'm pretty sure your Quaxley will be a water type. Normally, you gotta take special classes to be able to get one of those Terra Orbs, but I put in a good word for you. Now, time to give it Whirl. You'll learn to use it faster in battle, and if I just explain to you. Wait, what? You want this kid to practice wailing on us with her Terra Pokemon? Is that it? God problem? You wanna battle me instead? Uh, never mind. I'll take my chance with the new kid. Then take your places and battle. But yeah, I chose a uh, Claude for my run in three houses. I've heard Dimitri is like the the kind of if you're gonna choose like a prota anime protagonist route, it would be Dimitri's. So I'm interested in that. But then also I kind of want to try Edelgard's because, you know, no spoilers, but if you've played Three Houses, you know why I'm intrigued by Edelgard's. Oh my god, Young Goose. But I don't think I would ever do the church route. The way she cheat, I know. Let's see, terrestrialize Young Goose. Not Young Goose, terrestrialize Quaxley. Oh, look at him, adorable. Wait for my video to process in HD before I go to bed. I hate that. What a king. dancing why is she <laughs> you can't even see it you can just see her arms but she's just at least she's on beat oh no she's not anymore <laughs> your pal just lost and you're dancing Nice, Kirsty. You pulled off terrestrializing? No problem. Moves through your Pokemon's terror type will hit even harder when it's terrestrialized, you know? Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose terror type is totally different from its usual type. That difference can open up your strategic options. Gotta charge your terror orb at a Pokemon Center after every use by healing up at your team, though. Well, well, well I'll be on my merry way then, yeah? Hasta la vista! <laughs> Why did he say it like that? Hasta la vista! Oh no, it's because they're Team Star, okay. Me too. No, me too. Has to the V Star. Always on that Dance Dance Revolution grind, she really is. So yeah, Team Star is basically a group of students who like to kick up trouble. They hardly ever show up to class and when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them from what I hear. Um, excuse me. I, uh, I just, well, thanks. So, yeah, see you around. I want that backpack so bad. Oh, look at you, Kirsty, already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've ever seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer, like you. That Eevee bag, though, love that fluff. <laughs> anyway, it seems like it, the trouble's died down, so we better book it up to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's like when I was at university, there was like, our uni was on a hill, so it's just like walking up the worst hill ever, every day. Wow. 
Wow. This is so cool. Why are there five million Psyducks? Are you all in a Psyduck cult? What's that? <gasps> Rockruff! Best boy. Rockruff and Star... Starduck? Psyduck? Who's Starduck? Maybe we should make a star duck. Here we are, Kirsty. Welcome to Uva Academy. He this here is the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me and those halls off to the sides. Lead to all different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason they ban Pokemon battling in the main entrance. Miss Kirst oh wait, what was what was his act his voice? What did I do for his voice? Miss Kirsty, Miss Nimena How did you find your first school commute? I imagine Miss Nimona's high spirits help with that. She is a true asset to our fine academy. Not that I was expecting any less from our champion ranked student council president. Reliable as ever, Miss Nimona. Well, I know how to look after my friends, right, Kirsty? Oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star kids in town, Director. You did? Wow. It was down the stairs from the front gates. They were hassling this kid with an Eevee backpack. That is quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, Kirsty flexed on him and ran him off. <laughs> I flexed on him. I flexed on them. You don't say. Of course, it's a fine thing to try to help a fellow student, Miss Kirsty, but you might wish to share a bit of a strength as you find your feet here at our academy. And Miss Nimona, Miss Nimona, do remember that the school staff is here to res resol resolve any such troubles. Uh, right. Yes, sir, Director. A child with an Eevee backpack. A child with an Eevee backpack, you say? I suppose that must have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's not come to class, at least. And Miss Nimona, if you'd be so good, do report to Mr. Jacques about this Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept appraised apprised of all such goings on. You got it, sir. Ah, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. We're in class 1A, Kirsty. Come on, I'll show you the way. Gilf? No. There is a MILF. Your mum in this game is a MILF, so. Who is this? <laughs> Why are all the They're just like... <laughs> we do like MILFs, right? We do like MILFs. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Jacques. Oh, this is Jacques! Me. Okay, me. <laughs> Okay, babe. <laughs> hello, hello, everyone. We have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? This is my accent for this guy. Oh, me! I want to hear the news! I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. Where am I? Am I not in here yet? Am I not sitting next to Mona? Wonder what they'll be like. All right, you can come on in. No, your mum's not a gilf. Your mum's a milf. Could I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Mr. Sag, is that who he is? Sagwaro. Did you hear that? She seems super friendly and fun. We have ads in a minute. Adders, I appreciate you. The alcohol is taking me. Don't let it take you too far. Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you, Kirsty. All right then, who wants to be the first to ask our new friend a question? Me, me, can I ask a question? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? Really? 
awesome! I'm totally the same! <laughs> Does anyone else have a question for their new classmate? Me! I have a question! You went to all the trouble of enrolling here, so spill, Kirsty! What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? I'm glad I got you set up with that Pokédex app if you like collecting that much. Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself, Kirsty. I'm Mr. Jacques. I teach biology here at the academy and I'm also your homeroom teacher. I don't know why I'm talking like this for him, but I like it. That's your seat. Second row from the front. Alright, you ragamuffins. <laughs> Be nice and friendly to your new classmate. We will, Mr. Jacques! <laughs> the lowercase k? What's wrong with it? Wait, oh, got to explore now? Okay. Biology, math. Oh, I've got math. Do you know why I really like Jack? That's fair. Oh. Five alarm sandwich, so that's peppers and sausages and onions. Peanut butter sandwich, but then it looks like it's got ginger slices in it. Then that's peppers, cucumbers, and potato salad. A pickle sandwich. And an egg sandwich. <laughs> These look horrendous. Oh, hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? Yeah, exactly. That's my little know-it-all, buddy. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? No need to tell me your name. Kirsty, right? Whole school seems to be talking about you. The new kid who showed up with the president of the student council. I don't know why I'm giving them this accent. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you, our new celebrity. <laughs> You gotta help me out. So I can finally make my dream a reality. What kind of little maniac says yes to something without even knowing what they're agreeing to? Well, this might come as a surprise, but fact is, I'm all about that picnic life. Yeah, great outdoors. <laughs> what? I mean, the perfectly prepared sandwiches. All of it. Why does he now sound like a New York granny? <laughs> it started off with like pocket protector dweeb and now it's New York granny. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you! <laughs> I don't think I have a future in voice acting. Right now I'm researching new recipes that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real health but see? I found this book the other day and it has a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now, there are a total of five different kinds of Herba Mystica based on what I read. Just taking a little lick of them once you've been powdered will get your blood flow and provide nutrients, prevent aging, and it'll even boost the immune system. These herbs seem like they're the real deal. Only found here in Pompeii and ran a boot. But this book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning they're gonna it's gonna be pretty tough to try to grab even a few sprigs. Who's that kid hiding in the back? Cause see, these Titans are well, I think they've gotta be things like this. Whoa. As we descended further into our area zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wondered if these compact curled beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded forcing us to retreat for a time. A member of the survey team captured the... That's, um... That Pokemon that looks like a wheel, right? Captured this photo by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance... Donphan, yeah. To the Pokemon known as Donphan. Yeah. 
differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it is biologically separate. Say nothing of its treads of iron. I really want to get those herbs myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either. And I never heard the end of it if I went crawling to that student council, girl. But right here you woke up, you gotta help me out with this. You'd be perfect. No, wait, I don't need an answer yet. I'll just write just to the places where it seems there might be Titans on your map app for you. Oh, he's got a nice phone case. Ooh. Okay. False dragon? What the fuck is a false dragon? Ooh. Let's do a bit and we can get more into the details later. And in the meantime, take this. A little gift for listening and all. <coughs> Why did I get myself in this accent? It hurts my throat. Give the idea some fierce thought, please! What are these kids doing in the back here? Hello, all right. You're just hanging out. Oh, is it the MILF? Is it my mother? This is Kirsty, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. Hacked. My name's Cassiopeia. But never mind that. It's you I want to talk to about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, Kirsty. You know about Team Star, right? Great, I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. Very dramatic. But I'll need allies to carry out this ep operation and I'd like you to be one of them. Oh, hello. You making doubloons? I love her so much. Don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> No need to reply right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Till then, I'll leave you to it. Bye. Oh. Ah, Miss Kirsty. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within school, won't you? You don't want... You, do, you don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information after all. Honestly, there's so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. Uh, on you go then, young lady. You gonna speak? Team Star, you say? Hmm. Is he listening to me? Is he the bad guy?
he is just curled up on the chair next to me being a cutie. Like Hope is sitting in my lap being a cutie. You post a pic. <gasps> Let me have a look. Who is that with the hair? Looks like a road. Oh, hello. Very well, champion Mimona. I Hang on. Very well, champion Mimona. I trust you to handle it. Handle this in my wait. Champion Nimona. Champion. Champion Nimona. Oh my god, me. That picture of Sia is so cute. Champion. Who is this? Sure thing. You can count on me. In fact, I bet this is gonna be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day then. Who the fuck is this? Oh, pardon me. And also, who is that in the denim? Oh, Kirsty! Hey! Piqued your interest, huh? That lady is well, they call her La Primera. She's strong, she can do pretty much anything. She's got cool, practically coming out her ears. She's basically everything I want to be, or that any Pokemon trainer would be, really. Oh, which reminds me, remember in Homeroom when I asked what your dream is? Now I know you said you're all about completing the Pokedex, but hear me out. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Oh, she's got a rank. Okay. Oh, wow. Hang on, though. I've got a whole spiel I want to give you. Here goes. The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title of champion. Oh. <coughs> and to do that you have to do more than just take classes here you've got to take on eight pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges once you've done all that all that's left is a special test the champion assessment and once you pass that then at long last you'll be a champion it's every pokemon trainer's dream the coolest title anyone could ever hope to get not to brag or anything I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, the treasure hunt is a special independent study thing we've got here. Should happen soon. Our last one started not long after the beginning of this school year. It's great. You get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn however you want. Oh my god, Riolu in the corner. I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, if that's the answer I'm looking for. Anyway, I've got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym locations in your map app in case you decide to go for it. That's so interesting. There's no gym up in like the water area. Sorry, I had to blow my nose. <coughs> oh, is there a fairy gym? Oh. Okay. So we've got a steel gym. Is that steel? Or is it rock? I can't tell. No, I think it's steel. Water, bug, fairy, ghost, ice, lightning, grass. Okay. So am I getting quests now? Give it some thought. Ding dong dong ding. Calling Miss Kirsty to the director's office, please. Oh my god, the director wants to see me? Once again, Miss Kirsty to the director's office, please. Dong ding ding dong. Who is this person in denim? Rye for it. Taking time out of your day to attempt to converse with me, you must be absolutely mad. Yeah, but you're, you're, you look cool. Like a, you're in like a Canada, Canadian tuxedo, isn't it? That's what they call it, right? I guess I gotta go to director's office. You love her? She looks cool. So James, what do you think? Is the story really good?
You look like he was napping. Thank you for coming, Miss Kirsty. Have you been enjoying your time here at Uva Academy? His accent is just always changing. That is most wonderful to hear. Now, you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria, but let me assure you, there's a reason why I asked you to meet here in, the m in my office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Probably the best Pokemon story in years? <gasps> That's so good. She looks like multiverse bayonet. Yes. Oh no, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. Oh, are we doing a Zoom call? Oh! It's him! Hello, Kirsty. It's nice to meet you. My name is Professor Tudo. I carry out Pokemon research within the greater crater of Paldea, a site known as Area Zero. Oh. The professor is, in fact, a graduate of our fine academy as well as printed researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Kirsty, student idea, idea? Student ID 805C393? You are the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Maraidon, is that correct? Thank you, I appreciate that you were honest in conf confirming the facts. Ah, not that I- I do not mean to offend you, in fact. I wish to ask for your assistance. Oh. He's out. Hello? Oh, how good to see that you're well. It's been quite a while since we last met. Maraiden was once in my care, you see. I don't know what my accents are. Its Pokeball was also originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. I'm no longer in position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. That is why I would ask of you. Will you continue looking after Maraiden on my behalf? I do appreciate your agreement. Maraiden has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take on a form specialised for mobility. I actually feel like I'm a, someone else doing a fake Scottish accent right now. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the cap capabilities it once had. I'll provide you with any my contact information if you please get out your phone. I'll be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Until then. You sound like the announcer from Gladiators. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Apparently Gladiators is coming back, by the way. Could this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero? Tura, don't tell me you actually did it. I wonder who they're going to have as the gladiators. Because the last time they brought gladiators back, they had some of the originals. And then some new ones. I wonder if they're going to have the new ones from the old, like the the, the second iteration of gladiators. I wonder if they're going to have the ones from the, that iteration. Along with new ones. Because I surely they can't bring Wolf back again. Is he even still alive? On the BBC? Ooh. Okay, hang on. Let me just... Honestly, I love gladiators. It's so... It's such a strange concept. Oh, I think they're looking for all new gladiators because the the one on Sky was accused of being too bland. That's so funny. Is 
2023. Oh. <gasps> I'm so excited. I love gladiators. Pokemon person in town you can get phone cases from. If you have saved some, let's go. Brilliant diamond seal sword. <gasps> really, me? Where? Well, it seems that the professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the academy is always here to support you in any way that we're able. I do hope you continue to enjoy your school life together with that Maraiden. Staircase, okay. Hello? Hello, excuse me. Oh, you're still here, Kirsty. Oof, getting called into the director's office? How'd you land in that much trouble already? Oh, you just found out the use for the gimme ghoul coins? Oh, good good to know that they come in use at some point. No, cause in, I know it wasn't like that. Mr. Jack wanted me to show you the way to our room in the dorms. Your very own private room, Kirsty. Let's go check it out. Nine hundred and ninety-nine. Oh my gosh. Is this like Is this like some spare tune bullshit? Ta 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 sha well, I I I'm not giving it right now. From today on, this is your room, Kirsty. Maybe oh <laughs> Great. Actually, it's as new to me as it is to you. Never been in here before. Maybe check out your new bed. Looks comfy. And you might be pretty worn out from all this stuff happening on your very first day, huh? Quick rest in a bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. See you tomorrow when you've rested up. Then we can bath even more. Take care. She is too much. Wow, they just let children have ki full on kitchens. I have to say, the sound is really good in this game, like the music. Oh my god, why am I so congested? The day, oh, last day arrives for your true adventure to begin. All students, today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Please assemble in the schoolyard, but we'll explain in more detail. Oh my god, she just comes into my room. You got a key? How the hell did you get in here? It's time. I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go to the schoolyard courtyard. <coughs> Why is the yard at the top of the building? Excellent. Seems everyone is here. Well then, it's time that I explained your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. You have all learned much within the walls of our fine academy. Oh my god, her hair. Love it. But now is the time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. Explore pa- hang on, what's his eyes? Explore Paldea's abundant nature, discover the Pokemon that live here, and get to know the people too. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together. Learn new things together. 
and share each other's thoughts and feelings and find something you might always treasure. I look forward to welcoming you all back to your, after your independent study. When you return to us as fine young trainers. Let the treasure hunt begin! Onward! I don't know what this is accent. Oh, who the hell's that? Tomaya. It's time for the great outdoors. What is that? Cyclazar. Oh my god. I'm scared. Take care, everyone, and remember the great crater of Paldea is exceedingly dangerous. Entering it is a violation of school rules. I but what if I want to go see my my fave professor? What are you waiting for, Kirsty? Let's go! We're going. I'm going. Woo! Oh god, she's here again. Oh, Jesus Christ, Namona. Let let me rest. Let get, let me live. The treasure hunt is finally starting. Fair question, since this is your first time. Come on, let's walk and talk. Walk and talk. The treasure hunt is a, a huge part of the Uva Academy school year. The point is, isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure necessarily. We're more just making our own adventures to see what experience Paldea's got to offer. You could try to beat Pokemon gyms, you could help out people in need, you could hunt for real capital T treasure if you wanted even. There's stuff we'd never learn sitting in a classroom, you know. This is our chance to learn it. Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. You and me for sure got a battle if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. James is actually called Uva. <laughs> <laughs> it's Spanish for great. <laughs> Bassling can wait. I meant to tell you. Did you know your phone's map app lets you set yourself destinations? You can try settling one of your gyms as your destination that get you on your way easy. How's that for a student council president? Giving your own friends an insider advantage? Oh wait, it's him. Arvin? Insider advantage? Sheesh, you make it sound like we're cheating or something. All I do is suggest you check out the gyms. It's up to Kirsty whether she goes. Kirsty's gonna have her hands full searching out Titan Pokemon with me. She doesn't even have time to waste on something like chasing after the champion rank. Me and her are gonna be too busy visiting the lair of Titans and nabbing the herb of Mystica. And serio? Don't go filling her head with weird stories. Hey, all I did was invite her along. It's still up to Kirsty whether she goes, right? <sighs> hmm, Kirsty, your phone's ringing. Hey, Kirsty. Cassiopeia here. It's about Operation Starfall. Remember what I told you before? Team Star is made up of five individual squads, and each one's got their own base. I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Team Star's grunts might try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from a distance. And heads up that the bosses each specialize in different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of the recruits, and you'll figure it out. Still, no need to worry with your skills. I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I'll just go ahead and add the base's locations to your phone for you. We have an ad in about 45 seconds. Adders, I appreciate you. The dark crew, the fairy crew, the fighting crew, the poison crew, and the fire crew. <laughs> Great names. Oh, this is so cool. We're getting like a bunch of quests. This really is open world, you know? Good luck with those bosses. I'll hook you up with some new nice rewards every time you meet one. 
Wait one second, who are you supposed to be? And Team Star, those punks are a serious hazard. They're not Kirstie's problem. That's right, because she's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. I thought it was up to Kirstie to decide whether she goes or not. Wasn't that what you said, Nimona and Arvin? How do you know my... I'm looking forward to seeing you. You can pull off, Kirsty. Bye. Very sus. What was that all about? Kirsty, I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here, but try not to get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We've got big adventure to start. I'm gonna battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet, and if I if I just keep trying to become the strongest, bet I bet the experience will be the thing I treasure. Guess I'll start by heading to our gym and training up some new Pokemon. Here, I'll send you a pic of what the gym buildings look like. I think the one thing I would have liked from this game is side quests, like in PLA. Yeah, I really, I did enjoy the side quests in PLA. They were pretty fun. And in enterable buildings. There's a couple you can enter. You can get your hair did. You can go to the sandwich shop down the, was it a sandwich shop? Yeah, there was a subway down the bottom. <laughs> you can go to Subway. Pretend you're in a K-drama. Oh, and I know we've been running our mouths, but it's all, it's your call what you do, Kirsty. Go where you want and do what it is you really want to do the most. A treasure of our very own. For me, that's gotta be my, er, my big dream of trying down the herb of Mystica, that is. What is my? Once you get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you heard in your life. Welcome in Raiders, hello, my name is Kirsty. My pronouns are she, her. I'm a Scottish variety streamer. I play story-based games on the Pleasy, the Pleasy, PC, PlayStation and Switch. Today we're playing some Pokemon. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Um, how was your stream, Ollie? I'm just giving you a shout out. Everyone go follow Ollie, Folly, follow Ollie if you don't already. Um, Jasper, hello, Jack, how are you doing? Um, Korok leaves is Caitlin, right? Kate, how are you? Welcome in. Um, Kate, welcome in. How are you? Um, can Kirsty do one K right now? <laughs> I don't. I don't see that happening. But I appreciate it. <laughs> Pleasey. I can't. I'm just so I can't talk today. <laughs> but yeah, welcome in. How's everybody doing? How are you all doing? How was your day? You shiny hunting for a cocoa. 110 hatched eggs later. Still no shiny. No. I saw someone on TikTok that got a shiny for a cocoa, I think, in 50 eggs. I was like, whoa, you are lucky. Um, but yeah, if anyone needs to raid and run and raid and lurk, I totally understand. Um, I've just got, I've just come out of the school after like doing the intros basically so i'm still really early in the game um but yeah i hope you're all doing good um and yeah let me get back into it um i also have really really cursed voices for these characters so ah where did what did you come out for oh my gosh did it come out just because you said sandwich well, you're not getting one. Seems like it wants to start moving. Is it telling you to get on, Kirsty? Oh, okay, you can ride him. Yes, let's go. Whoa. <laughs> but yeah, everyone who's playing Pokemon, please let me know how much you're loving it. Yeah, my accents are a bit cursed, Dolly, but you know. Why does your arm sound like Nerdy Kid from Polar Except Because he seemed like such a, a, a nerd when I first met him. So I made him a nerd. <laughs> Swapping my pleasey to folly on me. <laughs> Stop. <coughs> <coughs> Whoa, it transformed. Now it really looks like some kind of weird cyclozar. Look, as long as you've got Mermaidon, you can go pretty much anywhere. Paldea is your cloister. Hmm, yeah, maybe. 
Well, if you're gonna search for those Titan Pokemon, I'd say get out from the East Gate. But since Kirstie's actually here to take on some gyms, I'd say go for the West Gate. Besides, it's way too easy to get lost out East. Man, this is why I can't get along with you out here. I'm out of here. Catch up soon, little buddy. I'll head to gym. See you around, Kirsty. Woo. This looks ridiculous. <laughs> So much like the game of Polar Express. I don't think I, I don't, I haven't watched Polar Express since, oh my God, this looks ridiculous. My Pokemon bike. Right, where are these phone cases? May said I can get phone cases from someone. Hmm. Protect Arvin. Go down some stairs. Okay. Whoa! Oh, here we go. Hello. V. Ooh. That's because I had a hello, po hello Pikachu. Uh, let's go Pikachu. Can I not just get them all at once, please? The ball guy case. Wait, is it the dude that had the ball head? I don't know if I want a case of him. <laughs> Pull catch. Calling the main rideable Pokemon in this game my ride on feels a little too on the nose. <laughs> what if you called him a ride? Like in Dairy Girls. He's such a ride. <laughs> Would that also be dodgy? He loves James Stop. Arc from K. Oh, okay. Oh, you guys can't see this properly. Um. Oh, can you preview? Nope. I love that it just doesn't show you your phone here. I like the Pika V one. That's cute. Oh wait, it's Pika V because it's Pikachu and Eevee. Okay. That's cool. It's like things that were like important in those games. How do okay, hang on, let me get my No, not that. How do I get my phone out? Hmm. You can't see it from this angle. I, ju I just want to see my phone. God damn. <laughs> I can't even remember how to see my phone. Anyway, let's get let's get on the road. Woo! 
I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just going. Was that man sitting up and then immediately on the floor again? Great. <laughs> I think the next person I meet who's like a main character, I should make a have a dairy accent. Hey, it's me, Nimona, or Australian. Dairy or Australian, what do you think? We should call and catch each other up on how things are going from now on. You decide to heading out west in school, right, Kirsty? Start from there, you'll be pretty close to Cortondo. That's where you'll find the bug type gym. You can go take on the gym leader if you want. I'm sure you can beat your Kirsty. Good luck. I'll call you soon. The Titans and Gyms had an order, don't do what I did and go where I was not prepared for. But it's open world! YOLO. Oh my god, look at my reap. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Whatever. <laughs> Little sheep baby, I know, it's so cute. Just go to the psychic gym now, you'll be fine. Exactly, I'll be fine. Set order. Whoa. Scrooge. Am I heading out some rest now? Love you lots and enjoy Pokemon. No worries, Ollie. Thank you so much again for the raid. I really appreciate it. And I hope you get a good sleep. Not you choosing Twink Duck. Look, it's because everyone else was choosing Sprigatito. And I didn't like the Fue Coco Evo. So I was like, you know what? Let's go for the Gay Duck. I have Sprigatito on my other save. Its fleece grows continually. In the summer, the fleece is fully shed, but it grows back in a week. <laughs> I went towards the tight the A Titan much more levels than I oh no. Night Ali. Okay, what are we calling Mareep? What are we calling Mareep? Should we call it Shrek in honor of that sheep that got lost and came back with like five million layers of wool? Oh, you love Meowscarada? I don't mind my Meowscarada. It's okay. I just wish it was quad quadrupedal. A quadrupede. I don't even know how you say that. Do y'all know about Shrek the sheep? It was like a sheep that went missing and then they found it and it had like wool this much. Or we could call it Sean the sheep or Dolly for the sheep that was cloned. But I think we'll go with Shrek. I love Shrek the sheep. It's so funny to me. <coughs> Everyone's going to be like, why did you call your Marie Shrek? Cute. He's out. I forgot to buy more purple balls because I'm a dumbass. Do I have young goose? Pokemon don't make my life a misery and give your wild Pokemon healing moves challenge fail. What? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> James, did you die to a wild Pokemon? Do I not have Young Goose? I thought I did. Here's my other save. Yes, I don't. Oh, no, I do. There it is. Young Goose. Survived because the parents were not able to get through all that wool. <laughs> yeah. 
Honestly, yeah. Youngers, you freak me out. Why am I crouched? Oh, she's having a picnic. Hello. <gasps> Eevee! My baby. Life would be much easier if it didn't stop healing while I was trying to catch it. Oh no. My poor bag's filled to bursting with ingredients. Here, let me share some with you. Oh. Strawberry cheese jam cream cheese. Okay. Pepper. Wanna have a picnic so you can rest up a little? Sure. Whenever I see cream cheese, I just think of Jung Jungu from um, NCT127. And like there was a time when he was in America talking about how he had breakfast and he went cream cheese and then whenever I see the words cream cheese that's just what I think of cream cheese and then he was like Americano in the morning I don't know why he spoke like that but he did that's not me being weird that is literally how he spoke your new Pokemon look like you're all full of energy come again anytime what a queen ingredients and a picnic Wait, hang on. No, I don't want to do that. Oops. Can I get up there? Nope. Nope, never mind. Can I get off this thing? Help. Yo, ha, ha, how, 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 no, ha, there we go. <laughs> oh, was that a ripple like a heat wave or is that just the game being weird? Whoa, there's way too many youngers over here. They freak me out. Can you go down there? Hmm. Whoa! I'm now, like, because because you don't get the shiny sound when there's a shiny, I'm, like, terrified I'm going to miss one. Are we all feeling that fear? Because people seem to be getting them really frequently in this game as well. Like a lot more than other games anyway. Apart from maybe Arceus where it was like shinies every two minutes. And the thing is as well, some of them don't have any di like they're this like almost the same color. So like how am I supposed to know? What's over there? Hello. <gasps> Wait, is it Smoliv? <gasps> oh my god, it's Smoliv! It's Smoliv, Smoliv, Smoliv! Ah! I love Smoliv. I love Smoliv. I'm so happy. Oh wait, I already had Smoliv? What? No, I didn't. There we go. I was like, what the heck? This Pokemon converts nutrients into oil, which it stores in the fruit on its head. It can easily go a whole week without eating or drinking. We just call Pokemon a perfect sink. It's just what besties do together, James. What are we call Smoliv? Hmm. I heard you catch yours in my right ear, catch mine in my left. That's so cute. What are we calling small live? Ugh. Breadstick? Okay, me. <laughs> I like it. 
I like how you think. Smolive Garden! Stop. I like that too though. I'll have to get another one just to call it Smolive Garden. That's too good. Y'all are too creative with these names. I'm really bad with naming pokies. Thank you, my child. <gasps> oh, the youngest is just having a, a time in back. Oh, is it becoming evening? Oh my god. Y'all, you were fast. That sparkly thing. I want to know. Because they are weak individually, they form groups. However, they bicker if the group grows too big. Gotta call it natter. No, what? No, what? The if they're having an argument in a big group, calling them a natter. You asked how I was. I've had an interesting evening that involved watching Ollie hatch 110 Fue Coco eggs. And earlier I found out that my mum's BF might be in a cult. His alternative medicine doctor who was high up in the org unironically calls him a signal male. Oh no. Don't tell me it's like Andrew Tate. A group that argues when there's too many members. PTSD. <laughs> Stop. Ooh. I like how Mirascrada has a sassy walk with a certain move. Is Ooh. I like the sound of that move. It is very weak. It only means its only means of defense is to shake its leaves desperately as at its attacker. Oh gosh, what are we calling Sunkern? I'm getting to the point though where I'm kind of getting tired of naming Pokemon. <laughs> Does anyone else get like that? Because I really like, I've never been a Pokemon namer, so now I'm like, mm. not Sunkern having to shake ass to defend itself. I had a fun time explaining one incel is to my mum. Is your mum's boyfriend an incel if he wasn't dating your mum? Sunkern looks like a purse to me, so I'm going to call it purse. Titanic. That's also a good one. Oh god, another group of Mareep. Any sparkle? Any shinies? Any shinies? Nope. You called them sparklies. What the fuck is that? Huh? 
What is that? Oh wait, are these like the raid battles or whatever they are? Hello. <gasps> Who is this? Who is this? Oh, I thought it was cute from the top, but actually not so much. Should we try a raid battle then? I like how me said yeah and James went me bing. Actually I should probably go to a Pokemon Center before I go to a raid battle. Maybe. What the hell bait? That's fucking rude. I don't like the look of this dog. Looks ugly. Oh. <laughs> it's no yeasty. Its well developed jaw and fangs are strong enough to crunch through boulders, and its thick fat makes for an excellent defense. I don't like this look of this Pokemon. It looks weird. You didn't see that. <laughs> I did call Quaxley Squooge. They just bark at me. Bessie, that's a bit fucking rude. Oh, not the low battery. Right. Let's. Oh, why are you all following me? That's a young goose. Do I want a terror young goose? <laughs> Holy, how, how is it quarter to midnight? Is it ghost? Terror type young goose. Okay. Oh my god, it's. Oh, it's like a. Oh my god, there's a timer? Bitch, that's all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, we have an ad in a minute, Adders. Thanks for watching ads. Oh, heck. Can I... Can you catch them? I guess not. Oh, wait. I can catch it now, right? Because I've taken down its, like health <gasps> no wait what oh there we go okay this is some oh my god i love this this is so fun it works similarly to how they did it in sword and shield but they've made it look so much more fun 
Oh my god, what is happening? Is it like guaranteed catch? Cool. Because after all that animation, I would hate to have to do that again. <laughs> violin sound in the background. I'm, I've heard that in something before. What have I heard it in? Was it Arceus? You know the sound is like doo -doo 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 on the violin. Oh, happy knee! I think I do. I have a happy knee. I think I do. Yeah, I do. Cool. Get myself to a Pokemon Center. Oh my god, that is precious. Hang on. Hang on. That is precious. Look at the sleeping Marie. Stop. That is so friggin' cute. Oh, I think I just woke it. Sorry. Wait, are they all? Oh, no. Are all the sleeping? No. I think all I thought all the sleeping ones were going to be under trees. What does shiny hop it look like? Oh my god, there's two sun current and two small live together, so it really confused me there. I was like, wait, is there a shiny here? No, they're just two different Pokemon. Confusing me. For fun. Hi, besties. Welcome to someone. hell, bitch! Rainbow Hero, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. How are you doing? Oh, you can make a profile card? Oh, that's cool. Where is that little fucker? Here he is. I hate that noise they make. Wait, there's loads of Pokemon centers down there. What's that about? What's the gold one? I don't think the one we were at before was gold, was it? It was like a blue.
Oh, there's the gym down there as well, I see, okay. Wait, from this side, the town. Looks like a Spanish castle. I love that. Honestly, the design in this game is really good from the inspiration. God, this area is so full of Mareep. It's like before with all the chonks. It's like it's Mareep this time. Pigs and sheep, everywhere you go. A pig and a sheep. Smack it. Here we go. Well done, Squooge. Let's go, Squooge. I'm just having fun running around, honestly. Po trainer battles. Who does those? I just run around like a lunatic. This game is honestly so fun though. Like I know I know everyone's having issues with the graphics and the the glitches and stuff. And hey fair, if you wanna be mad about it, be mad about it. But I'm just I just love how they've changed the formula. A bit. I don't know. What do you say? I don't know if it's I don't know. Like, it still feels like a Pokemon game, but it just feels di like, I don't know. I feel like they've made Pokemon really fun again. Oh, that's a fat Hoppip. Not that Pokemon wasn't fun, but it was getting a little bit stale, I would say. What's up here? Who's making spurts? Why does small lives make splurty noises like that? Don't like it. Ooh. Don't think that's a word, splurty, but I'm making it a word. Ooh, what the hell? There's treasure chests? Wait. Oh, it's a gimme ghoul! <gasps> oh! Oh, was it ghost type? Of course it's ghost type. It's called ghoul. Curse you, dumb. I really hate those noises. <laughs> Why is this game just full of sparkly things? No, you bitch. The hell? Just. Do you get gimme ghoul coins from catching a gimme ghoul? That's inside an old treasure. Does gimme ghoul have different forms? Sometimes it gets left in shop corner since no one realizes it's actually a Pokemon. <laughs> oh dear. I'm gonna just leave it, gimme ghoul. Uh 
Oh, weird. Look at Pokemon. Oh, you do? <gasps> you get 50 Gimme Ghoul coins from them. Okay, that's pretty pog. So if you need 999 Gimme Ghoul coins for whatever it is James was telling me you need it for. Oh! Oh my god, there's no fall damage in this game? Yes! Best game ever. Fall damage is my enemy. What's that music from? What is that music from? I recognize it. Is it just from another Pokemon game? Oh. Where is that music from? Is that Zelda? That's Zelda! That's Breath of the Wild, right? Am I going crazy? Can you hear that? What is this? Hello? Besaid? I definitely wouldn't say it's besaid. Oh, it's a Pokemon that terrestrializes. Okay.
Like it literally was something I've heard before. I'm really confused. Oh my god, it's level 17? I'm about to get my shit rocked. Oh! Sure, you can forget scratch and learn nuzzle. Whatever you want to do, paw me. Not mud shot. Sure. Wait, can can you tell what gender a combi is from the overworld? Or do you have to go into a battle with it to tell? I know they have it they have a red mark I was just meaning like does their sprite in the overworld have it like can you tell why do they make these horrible noises it does okay cool good God, it's so big. It's really driving me mad. I don't know what that music's from. It's gone now. The game's gaslighting me. I definitely heard it around here. And now I can't hear it anymore. Game's gaslighting me. I don't know what it's from. Anyway, I'm going to go to Pokemon Center and save there and then call it a night because it's midnight. random music coming from I swear there's just random music playing in the background of random places <gasps> Dig. 
Ali Pa. Let's just try catching it. Whoa. Okay. What is that music in the background from? Oh, I'm going mental. I've just figured out what it is. My Genshin was still open on my computer. <laughs> I've been sitting here going mental because I can hear music. But my desktop audio is turned off in OBS, so you can't hear it. And I'm just sitting here talking about music I can hear in the background, and you're like, what the fuck are you talking about, Christ? <laughs> That's my dumbest moment. Anyway, Squooch is evolving! Bring on the gay ducks! Oh, the evolution is so... Okay. The evolution animation is really pretty. Um... Bestie, why is your hair like that? Quacks well. The heart... Oh, I missed it. I skipped. Oops. What a great way to end the stream. He's thick. Please, not the thick. Wait, does that person have a Mincino? What's that? Oh no, it's some sort of... Mm, bug. No, I'm not interested. Oh my god, that village is so cute. Anyway, we will leave it for tomorrow. I can't believe Scrooge evolved. He's not as Scroogey anymore. Like. Oh, they have mouse mass outbreaks in this? Oh, that's what that is on the map. Oh, okay. I thought it was just telling me there was a Pokemon there. He doesn't look as Scroogey now. Oh. oh. He's Naruto running. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's a good place to call it. Let me. Let me. Do, 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 do. Oh no, I don't want to move that. What am I moving? Okay, let's see. Who are we going to raid? We raid Chi Chi. They're playing um, some Pokemon 2. 
they're a bit further ahead than me so if you well i don't know they might be quite a bit far ahead than me but um yeah they use they them pronouns um let me get the raid queued there's so few people streaming today it's so wild like i know it's thanksgiving so like i understand but it's just wild isn't it so weird seeing such quiet twitch but yeah um we're raiding chi chi um here are the raid messages that you can take with you i will be back tomorrow with some more pokemon um we're gonna continue our adventure i'm really enjoying this game i'm really loving it i'm so happy that it's just really fun um if you're not already subscribed to my youtube now is the perfect time to because i'm at 920 subs and if i get to a thousand i can um i can apply for a youtube partner and start getting paid so you can also unsubscribe if you want to after i get it you know <laughs> it might not be the content for you so i get it anyway um and then there's my discord my my socials um, and yeah, I hope everyone has a lovely rest of your day. I shall hopefully see you tomorrow. And for anyone celebrating Thanksgiving, I hope you're having a lovely day. Um, but yeah, I shall see you all later and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Goodbye!